In 2007, when three-year-old Madeline McCann vanished from a resort in Portugal, her chilling disappearance both captivated and horrified the world. What started as a tranquil vacation for the McCann family quickly turned into every parent's worst nightmare. The tragedy became a media circus with every reporter, broadcaster, and publication covering the story. To this day, Madeline's disappearance is described as the most heavily reported missing person case in modern history. Despite the international spotlight and spectators pointing fingers at Madeline's own parents, her disappearance remains unsolved. But in 2020, 13 years after Madeline first went missing, could a new development finally break the case wide open? Madeline McCann was born on May 12, 2003 in Leicester, England to parents Kate and Jerry McCann. Kate graduated from the University of Dundee with a degree in medicine, and Jerry graduated from the University of Glasgow in 1989 before receiving his medical degree in 2002. Madeline had two siblings, twins Sean and Emily, who were born in 2005. On April 28, 2007, the McCanns arrived in Praia de Luz, Portugal for a seven-night spring break vacation. Once a small fishing village, Praia de Luz has been dubbed Little Britain for the concentration of British people who take holidays there. The McCanns were in a joint holiday with seven friends and a total of eight children on a trip that was meant to be filled with sunshine, beaches, and good company. No one could have predicted that their vacation at this picturesque paradise would culminate in a horrifying nightmare. Approaching the end of their week-long holiday on the evening of May 3, 2007, the McCanns and their friends decided to have dinner at the Tapas restaurant at the Ocean Club Resort where they were staying. With the resort being so close to the apartment, the group of friends agreed that it would be alright to leave the children behind in the rooms to sleep. Roughly every half hour throughout the night, the adults take turns leaving the restaurant to check in on the children. It's 10 p.m. when Kate McCann finishes eating her dinner and goes to the apartment. She notices that the children's bedroom door is wide open, but as she goes to close it, a breeze slams it shut. She opens the door and finds the bedroom window and shutter which were previously closed open. But the true alarming side is when Kate looks at Madeline's bed and finds it empty. Kate McCann makes a brief search of the apartment for Madeline before running back to the restaurant, screaming, Madeline's gone. Someone's taken her. Witnesses would later reveal that Kate and Jerry McCann were inconsolable, rampaging around the apartment, crying, screaming. Their frantic search for Madeline begins immediately. In the days and weeks that followed, Madeline's disappearance sparked an international search and hasty investigation. As the media frenzy ensued, Madeline's blonde hair and blue-green eyes with a distinctive dark blemish in the iris of her right eye became a familiar face. Her images were plastered on the front pages of newspapers and TV screens worldwide. Millions watched on as the McCann's desperately pleaded to the public for any information on Madeline's whereabouts. Under the harsh gaze of the public eye, local authorities felt pressured to solve Madeline's disappearance as quickly as possible. But the case was doomed from the beginning. The Portuguese police seemed unfit to handle a case of this magnitude and made a string of errors in the first crucial days of Madeline's disappearance. When Madeline was first reported missing, Police believed that she had woken up and wandered off into the street. It meant that law enforcement didn't initially treat her disappearance like a crime and the scene was never properly protected, leading vile forensic evidence to likely have been destroyed in those first few hours. The publicity was a double-edged sword. On one hand, it helped spread the word about Madeline's disappearance. On the other hand, it meant that Kate and Jerry McCann's every move was dissected 
and criticized on a global scale. It didn't take long for people to turn on the grieving parents and start blaming them for their daughter's disappearance. Police only encouraged this belief by naming the parents as suspects. Goncala Amaral, police chief at the time, accused them of faking their daughter's abduction and hiding her body. Even though Kate and Jerry McCann were cleared of any involvement by July of the following year, the damage was done and their reputations would never recover. As the years trickled by, Madeline's parents continued to search for answers. They sought out the help of private investigators and urged law enforcement to carry on with their investigation. Madeline's disappearance continued to be publicized in news articles, documentaries, and podcasts alike. But even with the growing interest in Madeline's case throughout the years, it seemed like investigators were at a standstill. Then, in 2020, 15 years after Madeline vanished, German investigators announced a new suspect. A 43-year-old man named Christian Bruckner. Christian Bruckner was a sex predator who had raped a young girl in Germany before he fled to Portugal where he raped a 72-year-old American woman in Praia de Luz in 2005, the same village where Madeline would go missing only two years later. Suspicions only mounted when they found that Bruckner was living and working at the Ocean Club in Praia de Luz as a handyman in May of 2007, the same time as Madeline's disappearance. It is theorized that he may have taken Madeline out of her bed when she was sleeping as her friends dined with friends. He already had a criminal record of a string of exposure incidents against children while he worked at the resort. Prosecutors believe that it's possible Bruckner was contracted to kidnap Madeline for a child sex trafficking ring that was known to be present in the area at the time. But the media attention may have made her unappealing to sex traffickers, knowing that it would not be easy to keep her identity hidden. It speculated that she was killed. German authorities, who were also searching a site linked to Bruckner, have reportedly uncovered a secret cellar after investigators dug a deep hole in the garden area. They were able to find inside a number of items including forensic evidence bags and a child's toy bucket. While these promising theories have left investigators and prosecutors convinced that Christian Bruckner is responsible for the kidnap and murder of Madeline, he has yet to be charged and has denied any involvement in her disappearance. For Madeline McCann's family, they are hopeful that one day, they will know the truth about what happened to their daughter that terrible night. They still buy Madeline a Christmas present every year and remain optimistic that those responsible for this tragedy will one day be brought to justice. Let's have a moment of silence to pray for Madeline and pray for her family and for the case to finally be solved. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more. Thank <laughs> you.